Peggy 12. I'm John Burgess, a designer on The Sims 4, and I want to give you a look at our new build mode. In The Sims 4, I can create homes with more detail and more personality than ever. Building is faster and easier. In an earlier video, we created Bella and Mortimer Goth. Now, let's create their home. In The Sims 4, I can create my ideal floor plan by drawing walls or simply placing down rooms and pushing and pulling them into shape. To make this even faster, I can place fully furnished styled rooms. To suit the Goth's traditional tastes, I'm going to choose rooms from the Queen Anne style. As I resize rooms, the game will intelligently adjust the placement of furniture and walls. You can see just how quick it is to create homes in The Sims 4. Because Mortimer's a bookworm and a genius, I want to give him a study to fit his refined tastes. And for the outgoing Bella, I've built a dining room she'd be proud to host a soiree in. In The Sims 4, walls can be set to three different heights. Windows can be added to a room with just one click, and I can adjust their placement along the wall. I can add new architectural details. With just a few clicks, I push and pull a roof into the shape I want, and I'll finish it off with some trim. Now I can add a foundation and change its height at any time. I'm almost done, but I want to add some finishing touches, some plants, and I'll paint the terrain here. There. This house looks great. Now, I want to give you a peek at some other spots around the neighborhood. This home is a perfect and affordable place for a group of roommates just starting out in life. An entire building can even be moved at once. Now this looks like a great spot for a wedding. And there's plenty of room in this modern home for a multi-generational family. Let's check back in on Bella and Mortimer. Everyone's loving their new place. I can't wait to see the houses you'll be creating. Thanks for watching.